From a record-breaking hurricane season to catastrophic wildfires, strong tornadoes and crippling snowstorms, the year brought unforgettable impacts across the country. Join us as we count down the top 10 weather events of 2020. Number 10, extreme heat and drought in the West. A sweltering summer had millions experiencing their hottest and driest weather on record. August was the hottest month ever recorded in Phoenix. Temperatures also reached 110 degrees for an unprecedented 53 days. Death Valley hit 130 degrees, the hottest temperature recorded globally in decades. The heat, combined with a minimal monsoon season brought significant drought to the west. In Las Vegas, there were 240 days in a row with no measurable rain. Number 9. Colorado Wildfires Wildfires burned over 600,000 acres, more than any other year on record. In July, the Pine Gulch Fire raced across the steep terrain north of Grand Junction, burning over 139,000 acres. Beginning in August, the Cameron Peak Fire west of Fort Collins grew rapidly and destroyed over 400 structures, burning over 208,000 acres. This is now Colorado's largest wildfire. Then in October, the East Troublesome Fire quickly spread and prompted evacuations in the communities of Grand Lake and Estes Park. Sadly, two lives were lost and over 500 structures burned. Number 8. December Nor'easter From the Carolinas to New England, a major winter storm slammed the East Coast. Along the I-95 corridor, cities like Philadelphia, New York, and Boston saw 6 to 12 inches of heavy, wet snow. For the interior northeast, snow was falling at rates of 3 to 6 inches per hour during the height of the storm, leading to localized snowfall totals of up to 4 feet in the Binghamton, New York area. Roads were nearly impassable and power was knocked out, as 11 separate states recorded a foot or more of snowfall. Number 7. Deadly Start to Tornado Season in January, a two-day outbreak brought 80 tornadoes to the south, causing 10 deaths. By the end of April, 460 tornadoes had been confirmed nationwide, with the majority concentrated in the southeast. Most notably, three tornado events in March and April claimed dozens of lives and caused billions of dollars in damage. States such as Tennessee and Mississippi experienced these violent storms. Number 6. Hurricane Sally in mid-September, Hurricane Sally brought extreme rain, damaging winds and storm surge from Florida to Louisiana. First making landfall as a tropical depression near Miami, Sally then moved into the Gulf of Mexico and strengthened. It was a Category 2 hurricane by the time it made landfall in Gulf Shores, Alabama. In nearby Pensacola, Florida, two feet of rain and five feet of storm surge flooded the city. Impacts from Sally were felt throughout the southeast, causing at least $5 billion in damage and sadly taking eight lives. Number 5. Nashville and Tennessee Tornadoes Just after midnight on March 3rd, a strong EF3 tornado tore through Nashville and its suburbs. Nighttime tornadoes can be some of the most devastating, and sadly, this tornado took five lives and injured more than 200 others. The tornado was on the ground for 60 miles and caused $1.5 billion in damage, the sixth costliest tornado in U.S. history. The same thunderstorm produced a stronger EF4 tornado about 80 miles east of Nashville in Cookville, Tennessee. Winds reached 175 miles per hour, leaving behind an eight-mile trail of destruction. 19 people died. Number 4. August Derecho On August 10th, a widespread line of destructive winds known as a derecho devastated neighborhoods, tore through crops, and snapped century-old trees throughout the Midwest. It left behind a trail of damage from South Dakota to Ohio, a path spanning 770 miles in 14 hours. Hardest hit was Iowa. Several communities, including Cedar Rapids, experienced winds over 100 miles per hour. Homes were damaged, power was knocked out for weeks, and millions of acres of corn and soybeans were flattened. The cost of this storm is estimated at $7.5 billion. Number 3. Hurricane Isaias. Forming in late July, Isaias passed through the eastern Caribbean islands and eventually moved up the east coast of the U.S., making landfall at Ocean Isle Beach, North Carolina, on August 3rd. From there, the mid-Atlantic and northeast states experienced considerable wind damage. Isaias spawned unusually strong tornadoes, 
Delaware had its longest tornado track on record at 35 miles. And in North Carolina, a 600-yard wide EF3 tornado packed winds of 145 miles per hour, killing two. Isaias brought more than three dozen tornadoes across eight states. Number two, West Coast wildfires. In 2020, deadly fires burned over 4.1 million acres in California, more than the previous three years combined. Five of the six largest wildfires in state history occurred in August and September. Fires burned through towns in Washington and Oregon as well. The extensive spread of fires produced hazardous air quality, affecting millions of people for weeks, creating apocalyptic skies across major West Coast cities. Number one, Hurricane Laura. This catastrophic storm brought destructive winds and deadly flooding to many of the Caribbean islands. Laura then moved into the Gulf of Mexico and reached Category 4 strength. It made landfall on August 27th at Cameron, Louisiana, submerging the coast with storm surge flooding. Widespread damage was observed 30 miles inland in Lake Charles, where winds topped 130 miles per hour. Buildings were torn apart, streets littered with debris, hundreds of thousands were left without power, and sadly, 32 people died. Along with Cristobal, Marco, Delta, and Zeta, Laura was one of a record five tropical cyclones to make landfall in Louisiana in 2020. Residents are still cleaning up after this extraordinary hurricane season. These were the top 10 weather events of 2020. With more wild weather possible in 2021, join us for another year of outstanding team coverage. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Joe Astolfi.